tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Oh, AfterBuzz TV. After Buzz TV. The destination for TV superfans. Producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows. Interviewing celebrities and showrunners. And bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Oh, <laughs> Still things going on. A little country for us. Welcome. This is another edition of Spotlight on here at After Buzz TV, and so glad to see you guys here with us. I'm James Lott Jr., and I am your host for this episode of Spotlight On, where we take an actor or actress and spotlight them. And today it's a great. We have we're having a good time already. Pre pre um, airing, it's fun. She's been on a lot of shows you probably have seen, including like Mary, New Girl, Cougar Town, which I love Cougar Town, uh, Men at Work, uh, Rest, Rest of the Development, the re the reboot that new the newer season that was on Netflix. But she currently uh, co-stars on Chew TV's Those Who Can't. And when I saw the trailer, I couldn't stop laughing. Ladies and gentlemen, Maria Thayer. Hello. Hi, how are Hi, you? Hi, I'm good. Good. Well, welcome. Welcome good. to Thank welcome you to for that Buzz wonderful TV. introduction. Yes, of course. And anything for a ginge. <laughs> I'm all for gins. I love it. We need extra love because we got teased when we were kids. So I appreciate it. <laughs> we're talking about that off camera. Has I have one of my favorite cousins, Jason. Hi, Jason, who's a ginge. You said he started getting into it later to how he likes being a ginger now. Yes, I think that that is the, that is the uh, common story for uh, gingers that yes. you get teased. It's, it's, you know, everybody gets teased for something, but yeah. when you have red hair, that is definitely the thing that you... But that whole redhead stepchild comments, they always, they brought up so all the years. Oh, sure. That's not a compliment. That's not at all. A redhead stepchild, yeah. And I was like, what is that? I never but knew also, where I came what from. what does it mean? I don't know. I know. It, it seems like something I might have Googled it in, <laughs> but then I forgot, so... Well, first, I get the whole stepchild thing. I'm like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, I, I know. I was like, did you watch the Brady Bunch? I mean, like, they were okay. They were both blended family. It was okay. <laughs> like, brother and sister. And then redheaded too. And I'm like, what yeah. does that mean? I have been someone's redheaded stepchild. <laughs> well, that's good. Let's see. <laughs> and you weren't treated bad, were you? Yeah, no. I think, yeah, I think they enjoyed me, and I enjoyed them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> so, but this, this, actually, I wanted to open with this guy. I wonder if this is true or not. Yes. Please. Were you born on a bean far, bee farm in boring Oregon? Yes. Is that not, that's not, that's not a joke. It's not a skit. No, it's not it's a joke. Not... It's not only not a joke, I don't actually have any jokes for it. Like, <laughs> I feel like I should have it, but I don't. Right. Uh, yeah, that's my family had a bee farm. My uh, uh, dad bought this bee farm. We had a whole bunch of bees, and um, it's a place called Boring. In a place called Boring, that's a, that's it's a gentleman's name that that, oh, okay. that founded it. It wasn't just like a bunch of jerks. <laughs> This place, so is this place is boring. Oh, like this. Uh, uh, the website for my town uh -oh. says um, an exciting place to live. That's so they've embraced hilarious. it. Hilarious. Um, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a sweet place. It's uh -huh. a. I, I go back. My family doesn't live there, but my old babysitter. I go visit <laughs> them sometimes, Reba and Bill, and uh, and uh, uh, it's really beautiful. It's idyllic. Where is boring in the Oregon state? Like, where is it near? It's a suburb of Portland. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh. So we're like um, next to cosmopolitanism. If yeah. That's a word. <laughs> I make up words all the time. <laughs> We're smart. We know how to make up words. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Yeah. So you know, we, it's not. It's not just. You know, we're not just a, a bunch of boring hicks. Yes, like, right. You know, we can we can we can go into the big city. And, yes, you can. Yeah. I've been to Portland. I like Portland. Well, it's funny. I made a word up once called unifocal. What? I made up a word called unifocal. Unifocal. Because my I have what I call them trifocals, but my my eye doctor says they're called progressive lenses, not trifocals, because that's three of them. Oh, sure. I go, well, you're lucky because you're a unifocal person. Oh, sure. <laughs> not a word. So I'm starting with you. I haven't graduated to um, <laughs> bifocals or trifocals, but um, eventually. Oh, it's, it's, it's not fun. But I want to <laughs> see, so I mean, that's crazy. Um, but you know, just speaking of that, you were on Portlandia. I was in Portlandia. So how was? So you're from, or so did you get all the jokes, obviously, and all the setups? And I mean, yeah, like, that was. Yeah. I, I I don't I don't like to pick favors, but fa favors favorites. <laughs> 
<laughs> but that I that was one of my favorite jobs. Um, wow. It's a great the, the the way that those guys work is so fun because yeah, yeah, you yeah. just go in and then you make stuff up and then you all go uh, out to dinner. At least that was my experience <laughs> of it. That's a great job. And um, yeah, it was a great job. And I love Portland. I really yeah. I, I I want to um, move back there when I retire a, or decide to do something else. I don't know. You know. <laughs> Like in five years, I'm done with this. I'll do something else. <laughs> We've been doing it for a while already, but you know. But no, I totally I like Portland. I like Portland a lot. Actually, I went a couple of years ago for the first time. I had never been, and I just thought it was a great town. It reminded me of a mixture. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I'm from Sacramento, so I, it reminded me of a mixture of Sacramento and New York mixed. Huh. This is the, the, just the tree lined streets. Mm -hmm. Some of them had cobblestones, the cafes, the arts. I mean, it's just like. I, I loved it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a really great, really great city. Yeah, it it does have like the art, the art, the, a lot of the arts of um, New York mm -hmm. and and people. I mean, it's part it's part of like a joke in yeah. Portlandia is that pe how much people really care about what they're doing. Yeah. You know, everything is like so. <laughs> yes. You know, the coffee and the food, yes. and it's very particular. Yeah. And um, whatever, I like people that that What's care it? about that care about what they're doing. I loved Powell's books. Yeah, I could have stayed there for like. A week. Yes. Oh, you definitely can because it's huge. It's huge. I mean, but like, they have everything color coded. So I was like, I could be here forever. <laughs> My friends were there. I was like, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, but we're going. I don't want to go out. <laughs> I just want to stay in this bookstore. Like, it's just every. It was. It was everything. I love that. I'm a big reader. Me so, too. Um, yes, I love. I love that bookstore. And uh, I love. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It just. It made me just so happy to go there. So I mean, okay. So let's let's start with because you are on a show. Um, Jonathan, did I send? Did I send the trailer? I can't remember. My, I, I think I did. Jonathan? Anybody there? Something happened to Jonathan. Thank you. We'll get back to it and say, maybe he's checking it. Um, but I want to show folks a little, it was a little sneaker teaser trailer of your show because can you explain to folks, it's, it's on True TV it's and on it's True a comedy. TV. It's a comedy. And it's, it seems hilarious. And it's, it's, like, and it's hilarious. Oh, it seems and like it's hilarious. Um, it's a True TV's first scripted comedy. Yeah. Um, True TV has a lot of great comedies, actually. I didn't know that because oh. I didn't watch True TV before yeah. I was on a uh, True TV show. But now that I am, I'm really, um, they have uh, Adam Ruins Everything is really funny. Okay, I've heard that. Um, okay. um, um, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, uh, Impractical Jokers, which oh, comes yeah. on before us, is really yes. funny. Yeah. Um, and they've been great supporters of uh, ours. Oh, um, yeah, it's it's about d teachers in a school uh, that are uh, just terrible teachers. Yeah, just dysfunctional. They're I dysfunctional. Tell. They all have some major problems. <laughs> I think it was, well, 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 I said the, the tagline was something like, uh, where mistakes can be made or something. It's like some really funny tagline. I was like, yeah. that is hilarious. I wish I remembered it. I saw it on a billboard on the way yes, here. Yes, me today. too. Yeah, I saw it. Like, oh, there it is. There's Maria. I'm going to see her later. I saw that. Actually, there's, they're, they're doing a lot of press um, for a, a lot of like uh, uh, billboards. And yeah. there's got these huge billboards in, in Times Square and all these billboards yeah. here and in Denver. And I have not seen any of them. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet? <laughs> I haven't seen any of them. Oh, that's so funny. Except for I saw one at an old, like a bus stop. Yeah. Um, that was that that was as fancy as I get. Yes. Yeah. So so those who can't is it's so about these teachers who are just really dysfunctional and who do you because you're the only girl in, the, in like the I main am the cast. only girl. Um, um, yes, I'm I'm the librarian, the school librarian, okay. um, and uh, you know I'm just as dysfunctional as <laughs> all the rest of them. You know, as a librarian, it's like yeah, I mean, yeah, no, she's not your typical librarian. I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> is, it, is it is it slapsticky also? Is it kind of like is it both of that yeah, physical comedy? Yeah, it is. There's some physical comedy and there's some really, um, really smart jokes too. Ooh, okay. You know, there's there there was. Um, now I don't remember the particular joke, but there was there's been a couple of jokes when I read the script that um, I had to Google because I didn't. They, they were talking about some you know uh, South American dictator from you know it's <laughs> okay. like stuff like yeah. that, that's uh, that's uh, uh, intellectual too I yeah. think. But yeah, it definitely has a lot of dumb stuff in it. I mean, I, which I like I like both. Me too. I'm gonna say it's, it's okay to have dumb and smart jokes together. And play you know, a good writer will place them well, obviously, sure. and then a good actor act well will will say them well. Hopefully, <laughs> it's not a guarantee. Like, 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 like I said, it's, uh, some shows are straight true. You, I'm sure. Thank you. Sure at all. Thank you. Jim. And so, what is the name? What is the name of your character? Abby Logan. That's great. That's a great name. Yeah, I like the I like the name Abby. Um, I was I I did a I did a movie years ago where. Um, 
uh, I had a character, and they, I don't know if they panicked or what happened, but my character ended up having the same last name as me. Like they had to do something. One day they had to, they had to um, give me a last name. We were on yeah. set. Oh, okay. And they're like, uh, what about Thayer? It's like, okay. <laughs> You're like, sounds good to me in real yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah, no, whatever. It's easy for me to remember. So I'm, I'm just happy that I have two separate names from my <laughs> actual name. Because I, I always want people who they have the same first name on a show. And they're yes. like, I'm like you, see, you see the script, then you have the call sheet. I mean, everything's like, Mike. You know, Mike. And you're like, Mike. Where's Mike? I mean, like, it's just oh, kind of like. In a lot of comedy shows, it's, it's um, yeah. I did a show called Eagle Heart mm. with Brett Gelman oh, yeah. um, and Chris Elliott. And they were, um, the three series regulars were me, Chris, and Brett. And their names were. Chris and Brett, and I was someone else. Oh my Maria's god! Maria's not a very funny name, though. I don't think. I guess it's not. Yeah, it's not really. Yeah. Now, first of all, with Maria. Okay, so I'm sure people think Maria must be Latina or yes. of some sort. So yes, people sometimes are surprised when they meet yes. me, and I'm not. I'm a, like very pasty. But I'm like Maria. It's not just Latino. It's not just. It's not just Spanish. No, it's also it's... other cultures. I'm with my friends who are Greek. Sure. Not Maria's because it's a religious name. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and it's the most common name in the world. Yeah. I know. Uh, um, yeah. Well, a lot of Maria's. Maria Teresa's, Maria Elena's. I know yes, a lot of. Maria Menudo's. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, my, you brought it back. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. I saw her the other day. I saw her the other day. She gave me a big hug. I saw her the other day. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, she it's, seems great. No, she, yeah, she's very, super sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, she gives good hugs. Um, but yeah, Maria well, is a name. Someday maybe I'll sweet. get one. We'll get one from her one day. <laughs> hug her. The Maria's need to meet. <laughs> It's a big hug fest. I love hugs. I gave you a hug fest. Yeah, I, I love know. hugs. I love I'm hugs. I'm a hugger. Um, it freaks people out sometimes. But. I know it does. Well, you know, hugging really is, the I think, one of the closest form of intimacy. Huh. When you hug. Because you can, when you hug, you bring someone into your space. Mm-hmm. And you can really feel if they're kind or not, I think. Mm-hmm. Or sincere or not. Mm-hmm. It's so. hard. It's a bad feeling, though, when you hug someone that doesn't want to hug you. I know. Oh, I know. You know, and then there's just, like, that moment where you're just, like, they're like this and you're like this and then you can't <laughs> fix it, you know? And then you just have to go. Like, at that yeah. point, if you're going for the hug and there's they're going for the... Uh, handshake. Handshake, you, you, know, like, you just... You still have to hug. Yeah. It's kind of like... You can't go you can't backwards. Stop. No, I agree. And But then you they, you can tell that they don't want to hug you. They're like, why are you touching me? Yeah, that's what they're thinking, yeah, I'm I like, assume. Like, Dang it. So how did, <laughs> how did, how did, um, how did those who can't come into your orbit? Uh, well, uh, I, um... I, uh, the old Hollywood story. Yes. I auditioned for it. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, good, good auditions. I mean, I had met the guy, I actually weirdly had met the guys, um, it's three guys that are from Denver and yeah. they have known each other for, you know, a hundred thousand years. Yeah. And, um, we had, I was in Portland, or San Francisco, I can't remember. I was at a, I was at a comedy festival and we met in the back of a van what? Um. Um. That. That also. That. Uh, but. But like in a band that was going. to... Oh. Okay. I'm like. What's, like, what's going on not here? Not like. Girl? Not yeah. like a real. Uh, this is that a spotlight would be, on open. after dark. <laughs> I like. Sorry. Like after I dark. Just, I've told that story a couple times, and I feel like maybe I should just stop it with a, the back of a van and just let people. Let people imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's well, more well. exciting than just being like, "Hey, how exactly. are you?" Right. You're grown, folks. Yeah. So why not? Back in a van. But I love no, that. it was it was it was more it was it was more boring than yeah that. than that. Boring. Boring Oregon. I'm Back gonna, to boring. Yeah, boring Oregon. Mm-hmm. So you met that. So and so then you auditioned. Audition. I mean, when when you go into auditions, these because I see you've done a lot of episodic TV. When you go into auditions, what is your mindset usually when you go to audition? Well, when I went into this one, I'd read the script and I thought it was really funny, but th- I thought there there was no way in hell. Can I say hell? You That's not a hell. swear word. Sure, say is hell. H e l l. Um, <laughs> like, I spell. I spell it. I don't know why I spelled it out, but sure, whatever. Um, um, h e double hockey sticks. Hockey sticks. That's right. Um, uh, <laughs> that I would get it, and okay. um, uh, I really didn't think that I. Sometimes I think that I'm going to get a part, and then and you know I'm occasionally right, and I, yeah. I I very rarely get a part where I don't think that I'm going to get it. Okay. Anyway, I didn't think I was going to get it, so I auditioned, and um, and uh, somebody that I really loved um also auditioned for it this oh, wow. actress that i think is really great oh, and i thought she was perfect and i was like if i were them i would cast yeah, this go, girl, girl you got because it. she is really good yeah. i'm a big fan of hers yeah. and um uh then that weekend after i auditioned i went in before her and then she okay. went in after me and that weekend after i auditioned she, i had a party and she came to my house because we're oh, friends that's so we're funny actresses. and oh, we compete I... against each other but we're friends oh, and I love it. um she came over to my par- my party and she was like i said how did the audition go and she said not well they but i heard them when you were in there and they were laughing so much oh. and then 
uh, and then I went in and they didn't laugh. Wow. Uh, she's like, I think that you got it. And I didn't believe her, but then I did. She was yeah. right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So do you, do you do auditions? Do you run across friends a lot of times? People that you see a lot? They're yeah. Ones, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. And I don't, I have not been, been, there's, there's a, it's not a fallacy. Like, I'm sure it happens that people psych each other out. And mm. I guess I was psyched out once. Like somebody <laughs> I felt like was like, like trying Ooh, to play really? like, but that's in a career of a lot of people. Like yeah. usually it's, I'm just happy to see people yeah. Yeah, that, exactly right. You know, I'm not. I don't know. Maybe I should be more competitive, but I'm not. <laughs> maybe not. You're doing fine. <laughs> you're working. You're doing fine. Sure. Yeah. Um, it's 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 working out. It's working out. So because audition process is mainly. I mean, a lot of people, you know, kind of know this a little bit. But when you're an actor, I mean, it's, that's a lot of your job is 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 auditioning. Sure. Yeah. And you 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 go, you go on so many auditions. If you're lucky enough to go on so many yeah. auditions, you uh, it just becomes like. Who know? Like who knows why anyone gets a part? Yeah, right. and I've been on the other side, and it's just like it's nonsense. Oh, right. So, so I just go in. It's I use it almost like a social time. Like oh, fun. I see my friends. I like the casting directors. Maybe I get to meet somebody yeah. interesting, and you know, in in between there, I yeah. do a little scene. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what's really funny is that you know you always hear too. Sometimes um, you do. You know, if you're friendly and nice, sometimes casters will remember you, sure. and so you may not be right for that part. Sure. But they may say, we'll call you if something else is coming no, up. you should always be friendly and nice, just in general. I said, I, oh my God, I said this, I'm ready to like, ah! Yes. No, I always you're, you're say. You're like an attack thing. I know, it's like, Just ah! because, just because you're like, be friendly and nice. I'm nice. I'm going to be nice. <laughs> God bless America. No, I always say that people should be nice. Nice should be the norm. And being nice does not mean you're a doormat. Does not mean you're no. you're you're, you're just, you just walk over you. Doesn't mean you're a pushover. It just means being nice, saying please and thank you, saying you know hi, how are you, just being a smile. Yeah, you know, you're. It's harder to be kind than not be kind. Yes. Like you're you're actually tougher. I think so. I I think so. I think so. Anyway. Yeah, just kind of, that's kind of our that's a public little... service announcement today. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. I say like, so with those who can't, so it's, it's sure. pre it premiered a couple weeks ago? Yes, it did. Yes, and mm -hmm. so how's that been the reception so far? Great. It's been really, you know, I've done a lot of stuff that I love. Yes. Um, a lot of it's been like weird comedy. <laughs> and, um, um, yes, uh, we're going to talk about that, yes. You know, I did, my, I started out on doing Strangers with Candy. Uh, Which I just, I mean, all hail Amy Sedaris. Yes. Just, I mean, just she's like, amazing. I mean, um, come on. She's a wonderful person and she's really funny. And But when we were doing that, I felt like we were making that was the first TV show I think I did and I, it felt like we were making it in a vacuum that no one oh, right. no one no one had ever even heard of it yeah, yeah. you know we were on our somehow our third season <laughs> and like nobody ever recognized oh, me oh, nobody funny. ever had heard about this, that show it's such a cult classic now I mean, yeah you know. now people know about it and I feel yeah. like that's what I've, I I feel like that's that's my like a little place is, is like stuff that nobody watches but then later on people are like oh that that's great but I feel like for this show the re reception mm -hmm. on Twitter and mm -hmm. has been really phenomenal and yeah. so I hope that people People continue to think it's really funny. It is really funny. Yeah. I, I I can wholeheartedly uh, I'm gonna endorse watch it. it. I'm totally gonna watch it. Um, how is Twitter for you? How is that whole the Twitter, online experience? It's great. No, I, <laughs> I love Twitter. Yeah. No, my friends make fun of me because I'm like I'm so anti self promotion. I yeah. it's just something that's so it's I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to do it. <laughs> my publicist is here. And she's smiling. She's um, all do better. She's like do better. I, I do. Yeah. I just I I it's it's very uh yeah. it still feels very strange to me yeah. to do it and because we know of a time when there wasn't a Twitter so we. Yeah. Yeah, you sure. know what I mean? There was a time when we did. There was no Twitter. There was no, sure. you know. It's you, like, tw you know. Uh, 2009 is when Twitter came out, basically, for all yeah, of us. Yeah, so 2008. That was the time before twi Twitter. Right, yeah. between Twitter. So you'd, ha you'd have, I mean, it's, it does work. I mean, I, I mean, it's so funny. It does work, but there has to be a balance, too. It's kind of strange. It's a minefield, too. Uh, is it? How is it a minefield? People say anything to you sometimes, and the way you respond could trigger so I, I was in a Twitter war once. Um, I, I thought I was a nobody. Um, and I was in a Twitter war once by accident. I woke up one morning uh -huh. and I made one comment that I thought was very benign and someone took it another way. Oh, that's so and exciting. I know. It was kind of, well, okay, it was kind of exciting. Um, and, but it was like the next morning because I, I went to bed and slept. 
I do sleep sure, sure. for eight hours. Sure, week, and, you know, so weak yes. sleeping. <laughs> I know, like, what am I doing sleeping? I'm missing something. <laughs> well, apparently I was missing this Twitter war that was happening that was one-sided because I was asleep. Sure. And I woke up to, like, 20 notifications. Whoa. 30 notifications. I was I'm like, what's going on? Because people started jumping in. This person and, was really mad at you. Yeah. I need to get into a Twitter war. <laughs> With a celebrity. If there's yes. a celebrity that wants to... Um, Go after Kanye. Like, he's easy. Go after him. He'll, he'll, get, he'll get in one with you in two seconds, I probably. See, I'm too soft-hearted. I would, like, I, I would feel bad going after Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> really? Who could you go? Who could you go after? It's like I mean I don't know. I'm like trying to think who else is on Twitter a lot. It's, yeah, it's kind of funny. I mean, Twitter's just really interesting for I me. I wouldn't mind going after Trump. Who do that girl? I, I support that one. <laughs> I'll join it on that one too. I don't mind Twitter on that one either. He's not really favorable to women. That's another story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now you've done you've done um, forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yes. And I, I want to ask that. you about Jack McBrayer. So sure. And you saw him again on Thirty Worst Rock. Worst person but, in Hollywood. No, exactly. Of course, <laughs> horrible, horrible guy. But you also because you you know you didn't have you didn't really you were paired with someone else on Thirty Rock, but he was there. What so any thoughts no, about him? No, I was him? paired with him. So you were paired with him. Yeah. I thought you were paired with what's his name. Anyway, so you're paired with them, so you were reunited. You worked with them twice. Yes, yeah. So I almost it? didn't get that job because I had already worked with him. Oh really? Yeah, uh, Tina Fey. I th- or maybe I can't remember if Jack told me, but or Tina told me that that um, that they were concerned about us being paired again. Oh wow! But um, um, I did. Got, he's a comedy that. genius. I mean, he's just so hilarious. Yeah, he's, he's delivering. He's really he's so funny and he's so funny in person. And he's the reason that I did forgetting Sarah Marshall because I knew him even before that. Okay, I let's had, go back. We had um we had uh um <laughs> yes I, a van. I, I was um <laughs> I my a friend of mine um his family had a house on Fire Island in um New York. Yeah, right, you know, and um. Tina Fey also and her husband uh, were were there too. Okay. She was writing Mean Girls. That's how long ago oh this was. Oh my god! Wow. And Jack had yes. come to visit her because oh they had god. been friends. They, yeah, yeah. They, so I met Jack when he had first moved to New York, wow. and I remember thinking like, "Oh, this poor, poor guy. Like yeah. he's coming into the big city. He's not like." <laughs> I'm worried about him. Like yes. he doesn't, you know, he d- d- he doesn't have an agent. Like it's a hard oh, wow. road. Wow, you better early. Yeah, but he was fine. Oh. You know, like <laughs> a day later, <laughs> Tina wrote him that part in Thirty Rock. Yeah, and there he is. Wow, it's yeah. so funny. Yeah. So you guys consider yourselves friends? I mean, you buy you Bobby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Still friends. He's great. He's he's a really yeah. he's a really nice person. He calls me every. He remembers everyone's birthday like some oh. sort of. He's it's birthday like, savant. He's like yeah, he's a birthday savant. <laughs> he really is. Like you, you're wow. parties with him. You'll be like this birthday, but he really it's wow. impressive. Wow, that it's is impressive. impressive. Mm-hmm. Wow, he cares. So you but working on thirty. We work with Tina Fey. I mean, I mean, so far your name people you've worked with are just like I mean, there's these great big people. Yeah, I mean, but the, Tina the, Fey. I mean, she's wonderful. Yeah, so lucky. These women you've worked with. Yeah. So women can be funny, right? I guess. <laughs> Thank you for finally asking that question. I was wondering. I'm like, I'm like will it be funny? <laughs> I know. I'm like, it's confusing for a little while. I'm like, should we begin with Lucille Ball, who's another redhead who, do, who helped invent the three camera system? Sure. Was, I mean, was she funny? Was she funny? I don't huh, know. Gracie Allen, was she funny? Was she funny? I love, I love Burns and Allen. I know, me start, too. Let me start now. But yeah, I mean, like, that, I mean, like, I mean it's just, I just said, you worked with some really great, I mean, they're kind of iconic, but they're, they're great comedy women. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Tina, I mean, Tina and Amy are very different, but they're both yeah. really my favorites. I, I, yeah. I, I, I like watching women more than guys. Maybe that makes me a sexist, but <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, what, what is it about women that you kind of, I mean, you are a woman yourself, obviously, but what is it about women that you kind of really draw yourself to? I mean, I think that they're, they're talking, especially 30 Rock, I think they, they, uh, there's something relatable to me that the Tina, that, that character, and I love Kimmy Schmidt, too. Uh, yes, I love Kimber. Oh my God, Alyssa, yes. Um, um, she's amazing also. She's amazing. Like, where does she come from? I think she's amazing. She comes from I know where she she comes from St. Louis. Oh, hey, Midwest, love it. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> literally, I know where she comes from, St. Louis. <laughs> um, but I mean, like in general, like where's she coming? No, I mean, yeah. I just like she's great. She came from Yale. She went to Yale. Oh wow. Um, Go uh, uh, yeah, they, they, they just they, they're they're talking about things that mm. they're, that I think about. So that, that's why I yeah, I, I I'm drawn towards them. What uh, what piece of advice have we have you been given that's really served you well in this industry? Well, 
recently a piece of advice, um, and this is something that it keeps coming up, is just to have fun. Mm. You know, and um, you know, uh, so there's some stuff. There's I love performing. I, I've always loved performing, but the some of the stuff around the performing, the auditioning, yeah. you know, so this th- is not as is not uh, uh, is not maybe as fun for me as other things. Yes, but there's ways to make it to just be loose with it, yeah. and I think yeah. that just be loose. Uh, it's, it's, it's good because actually, if you're not enjoying yourself while you're doing your job, oh my gosh, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's hell on earth. Yes, so I said hell. <laughs> it's Hades on earth. Hades. I don't think it even counts. Oh uh, yeah, I no, <laughs> I don't think it counts either. Um, so, so going on that theme, how's it on the set of those who can't? I mean, how? I mean, you with these guys? Yeah. Are you like are you like the tomboy on there? Are you just like no? I mean, not? I think they maybe want me to be more of a tomboy. Oh really? But I, I mean, that's, I think that I'm not. I'm not somebody who gets all prissy about stuff. Okay. But, okay. Okay. Um, um, it's like very. It's like very dudish. I'm sure. Um, I love those guys. Oh. Um, uh, I find I, I've often been on sets with I'm, when I'm the only girl. Eagleheart was the same way, yeah. and people say the same thing. They're like, "Oh, you're our, like our little sister. You're okay. like our little sister." Um, yeah, so it's it's fun. I mean, I love doing. I've done comedy and I've done serious. I went to Juilliard, so like, okay. I thought I was gonna do very serious of drama course, for the rest of my life, and <laughs> yes. that didn't happen. Like, <laughs> but once in a while, I'll do like a, I'll I'll be I'll do some show where I'm crying on a stand or about something terrible yes. that happened to me, <laughs> and that's fun. But um, it's not. It's it, it's a very different set. Comedy is yeah. a very different yeah. set, and it's it's. Perf- Preferable. Do you find do you find comedies to be easier for you come easier to you than drama or just equally is it about the same or? Ah, uh, yeah, probably yeah, well, probably dra- uh, uh, comedy comes. I know that when I was in school, we were doing a production of you know Juilliard is a very classical mm-hmm. school and we did a ton of Shakespeare, and um, we were doing a, a production of Macbeth, oh, and wow. there was a. There was no. It was King Lear. It was King Lear, and there was a moment where I made this very serious moment funny by some bit of business oh, I did, really? and that was really exciting for wow. me. So I always already loved doing that. I remember reading something about Amy Poehler is that she would do. She had the same sort of thing where she would do serious something serious like a serious monologue, and people would just laugh. So, <laughs> well, you know, there's there's a lot. I mean, in a lot of comedy, there or a lot of seriousness, there is comedy in there. If you sure. just do a different turn of a voice, or a... I mean, that's my favorite kind of comedy is something that that is that is serious, taken very something is taken very seriously mm-hmm. and it, to an extreme, and yeah. it's funny or pain. You know, like pain it's... is pain is oh, funny. Yes. It is. Um, I mean, that's how that's. I think that also a lot of comedians. That's how they got into comedy is mm. is some sort of way to deal with, uh, you know, feeling bad. And they, they, they said, no, I've, I've heard a lot of you know a lot of a lot of comics. Many of them are tortured from sure. different things, and they work it out in the comedy. Sure. And I always be like, I always believe that you can anybody can cry. I mean, that's. But how can you cry funny? <laughs> That's I mean that's that's something else, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That there should be else. an Academy Award for that. There should, because there actually it's just funny. So um, we, we're going to replace my love this, but uh, on Dallas, they they rebooted Dallas, they brought it back, and there was a scene where Patrick Duffy, it's not even a comedy scene, but it's, it's just a scene where he he cries literally in his drink. And it's like it was like we were looking at it going, but it was like an amazing. So all the tears are just rolling down and kind of like that. wow. But he's like sobbing in the because Jr. dies and it's like kind of this big thing. Yeah. It was like it was just, it was such an interesting moment to see that. And then I saw another show where I think it was I think it was um, it was Beth Hall on, on Mom. I interviewed her and she's great. And how she had to cry comedically. Uh huh. And I was watching both of them. It was like within the same night. I saw both shows. It's like. Wow, they both, it's just like, both of them are amazing. <laughs> but I mean, it's like, he's doing it dramatically, but it's kind of made me giggle a little bit. But she's doing it, and I should be kind of crying with her, but it's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, I mean, I mean, I was just like, I was sitting there going, wow, that's why I'm not an actor. Um, <laughs> I used to do this bit with my, my uh, one of my boyfriends, my, um, uh, is that, that not that I have so many right now I was now like, or one of my boyfriends, I was like, okay, go on, <laughs> girl. Like her hair on, her hair on. I, 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 <laughs> Sure, it's like, yes. Um, an ex boyfriend where um, uh, I would pretend to cry about the dumbest things. Oh, that's things. so funny. Oh, that's so funny. And it, it, he, we both thought it was funny. That anyway. sounds like, it's not, no, something could be funny, actually. Just, yeah. I mean, just like you pick something like, 
that door is gray. <laughs> oh my god! You know, yeah. they make me funny. I guess maybe I could act. I, don't know. I used to. Um, I used to, I used to work on House. I used to work with uh, Hugh Laurie. Oh years wow! Ago. Did that? No, I was back. I, I was on House once. You too? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think my four. boyfriend like had an uncontrollable arm or something. <laughs> that he had, sounds, like, a that disease sounds, that, that had sounds, his arm was out of control. That he sounds s- about right. I can't remember. He slapped me or he slapped the doctor. Or well, something. the arm slapped you. Yeah, you exactly. <laughs> his maybe his arm like tried to choke me or something. I think that, that actually is for real. Yeah, isn't oh, everything? I think house yeah, I think, I think like on house they're of... all based on something real. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's like that that Evil Dead. Is it? Does it? Oh, oh right, dad, right. Oh right. How funny. Yeah, I. Who knows? Right. I love this. I love you, Laurie. He's great. Hi, Hugh. Every time I see him, he says hi. Um, also, you worked with uh, Dan Kroll. Yes, Kroll show. Yes. Yes. Oh, now, how? Because I think he's a genius Nick too. How, Nick Kroll. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, Nick Kroll. I was like yeah, Dan Kroll. Sorry, Dan sorry, Kroll. Nick. Sorry, Nick. But I think he's a genius. But either way, I think he's a genius. And how is it working? He with is him? a genius. Um, well, great. I've known him for a lot, yeah. to, to, a, a long time. Really fun. That, that I mean, that also was like Portlandia. It was like yeah. the, you, the, you just sort of set in all, uh, John Daly, who's is yes. w- is on the show a lot and uh, writer on the show. Um, uh, they sort of just set you up, and then you just okay. go. And uh, yeah. it's a lot of improv, which is really fun. I mean, I I'm I got into improv. I, was I, ask you. I never. I mean, when again, I'm sorry that I keep saying Juilliard. It's like somebody. Girl, you earned it. You were in Juilliard. It's like you people, earned it. It's like the joke about people that go go, go to Harvard that but just no, like continually no, you, say you Harvard. You went there. You could mention it a hundred times. You <laughs> I, went to on my show. That's right. You went to Juilliard. I'm not even like that excited no, about no. Juilliard, but I. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm anyway, like this way. Anyway, yes. I, you know, I so but there's no improv classes no, at no. Juilliard. No, I think so. Um, we had a clowning class that I seriously at some point thought I was so hard that I seriously thought about throwing myself in front of a car Dang, just so I didn't have to go class. that afternoon. I was just like, I can't go to clowning class. Um, but <laughs> but now my career, I, I really I really love. Um, I've gotten to improvise yeah. and it's really it's fun. It's, it's probably exciting. freeing, I'm sure. It's yeah, freeing. It's, it's, I'm sure. Yeah, it feels wild. No, we, cause, you know, we mentioned you went to Juilliard. Did we mention that? Yes, we did. We mentioned, I mentioned it like five times already <laughs> yeah, in 20 I minutes. It. I love it. Uh, what did you, t- how important is education in, in your field, do you feel? I don't think it's important at all. Okay. Um, um, I don't think, I know that's terrible to say that nope. I went and I spent so much money at Juilliard. <laughs> so much money. <laughs> but obviously, you gained something out of it, obviously. For sure. You, for you. But you're saying in general, I did, yeah. In general, I think I mean education is important, important. Right, right, right. But is it edu- is is you know I think a lot of uh, you have to be ready to go to acting school, mm-hmm. and you have to I think just doing it and trying it in front of an mm-hmm. audience. I think that's that's really where you mm-hmm. learn and taking classes. I, I mean, I still take classes once in a while, so it's okay. not like I'm just like I don't. I'm care done. About I, don't, I know all about acting. I need to know. Um, yes. But uh, yeah, I think I think that. More importantly, is like is knowing yourself and um, knowing what what you want to say and um, and believing in yourself and trusting yes. that and. Um, well, you're the brand, right? You're the product. I guess so. That's what that's what it is. I mean, I mean I, that's I, what it, right? Yeah. Yes. Because we are. Because you and I both pick professions that are not stable. No. And actually, we have, we're we're kind of entrepreneurs in the sense that yes. we have to get ourselves out there. We get publicists, we get managers, we get you know. It's 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 up to us to kind of sell ourselves, mm-hmm. well, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's, we're totally that's we, you're the brand. Yes, you saying that just like makes me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true. We are the yeah, brand. We are. We're the product. Maria Thayer at Twitter. Yes. <laughs> Or is it <laughs> at Maria Thayer? Uh, at yeah, Twitter? I, can't, I, can't, I can't even I'm like. In, I'm more more into Instagram. Well, what are you on Instagram? M- Maria Thayer. <laughs> yeah, so we I, did, I didn't go. I didn't go crazy with anything. I'm trying to get mine all merged because I'm one name on on Twitter, and I'm like everything else is James Lott Jr. Oh sure. So I'm I trying see. to. You can't change your thing on Twitter. You have to like. I don't want to go. Oh, I didn't know that. I got fourteen thousand followers. I, I heard. I worked. Sure, for you those don't people. want to get rid of those. people. No, I worked hard for those people. To each, each each Twitterling I worked hard for. <laughs> I don't want to give that up. So I, it might stay Black Hope LA for the rest of my life. <laughs> that's not, that's that's a nice name. It's, actually, it's a nice name. People yeah. people know it, so yeah. that's kind of funny. But I was trying yeah. to make everything uniform so people can sure. easier to follow me. But everywhere else you can follow me, James Lutt Jr. Of course. Um, so now, paper yeah. paper magazine. Mm-hmm. I, I like paper magazine. I like it too. Named you one of the eight women in comedy. Yes. To take over the world. Wait, take over the world. Yes, that's that's a pretty grand. So how'd that feel? Claim. 
Um, <laughs> yes. I felt like I had a lot of work to do. I felt like <laughs> someone had given me a big assignment, and I <laughs> I needed to go home and <laughs> make some lists. Yes. Take care of some stuff. <laughs> Take over the world. I gotta work it out. Yeah. Whiteboard. I need whiteboards. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it was great honor. It was fun. I love all those those women yeah. that um, that were in there with me. And um, yeah. yeah. Did you know any of the women that are with you? Do you know any? I of did. Them I personally? know Gillian Jacobs. Um, okay. um, I knew uh, uh, who else was was in there. I, I knew um, uh, Katie Asselton Duplass. Okay. Oh, um, great. Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, I don't remember. I think that's maybe that's all that I knew. Okay. I mean, uh, the, we knew of others. We, yeah, yeah, I knew others. Yeah, I knew of others. And we spent the whole afternoon in like okay. some beautiful treehouse sort of place in Silver Lake or some place yeah. taking pictures. So, is it nice to have women celebrate each other? Because you always hear about women not celebrating each other. I think that that is the. I mean, I've. I, I maybe I'm just like had a charm, uh, but I charm life. But I feel like I, that's what has happened. I good. feel like I have not I've only met wonderful women oh, that support each other. Yeah. Um probably yeah. is more now, probably more now maybe than it was before cuz I just think sure. I, I always feel like, you know, they, they always say it's like there are, you know, women are all if there's the one who's in charge, the rest, you know, yes. the, you know, like I'm like but I see women camaraderie all the time it yes. seems like. Yes. Yes. And I think especially in comedy cuz there's so few yeah. like that it's that it's and there's getting more and more but yeah, there's yeah. uh that people it's just like I know that when girls come on my show, I'm like, oh my god, oops. I'm so excited about I know you're so like, it's like it's another girl, that. more yeah. estrogen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. No, I'm sure. That's so funny. Wow. Because <laughs> I mean, it's literally, just, it's all guys in your show. It's like yeah. now, how's the, how's the crew? Is it mostly guys too in the crew? Well, no. Some of the producers are uh, okay. women, okay. and um, some of the writers are women. Mm. Um, so there, yes, there's there's a lot of yeah. Well, there's a lot of girls. Is around. there a major collaboration between you and the like the writers? You guys like, and I'm, I'm sure they write the, the episodes. Would you get to go in and say? I wouldn't say it that way, or I'd say it this way, or um, they are, I, they are open. I, I, uh, I, I don't go in. The, there's, there's a, 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 a lady Joey that she writes a lot of my dialogue. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I, I let them do that. Right, you trust her, and you're like, you're gonna be fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna go home and garden yep. or whatever I do. <laughs> garden. I love gardening. A very boring life. I love gardening. I have a garden. <laughs> you I do? all the time. Uh, I had a. I interviewed an actress, uh, Olga Fonda, who was on Agent X. Uh huh. Um, and now she's doing Hawaii Five or whatever. We talked about gardening, about our tomatoes. Sure, I could I could talk about like oh. tomatoes. I could talk about potatoes. I could talk about uh, radishes, mm. rutabagas. I uh. I could really just like fertilizer. I could. <laughs> Roofing. I, I bought a house, and like all I want to talk about is like plumbing. Oh my god, I, I own a house too, it's really so it's like I'm, all, I'm, I'm like Architectural Digest. I'm reading all the magazines. See, that's more exciting than like roofing materials, right. which, is which is what I want to talk about. <laughs> but still, it's home related, and I my friends get bored because I'm like looking at people's landscapes when I drive sure, by. Sure, like, sure, succulents. I mean, I, yeah, exactly. These are all the words I, that go through my head. You exactly. Know? I look at people's stuff like Potting wow. Mix. I love that archway you have in your living room. Like I totally yeah. look at everything. What kind of garbage? disposal yes, do you have exactly exactly i have a home depot credit card oh i do too girl it's like it's that's one that's the only one i mean i have a norse but i don't even use those it's like home depot and lowe's i'm completely like oh just my like God. i'm hooked <laughs> and now orchard orchard got me to get a, a frequent card or whatever some card i, I got don't know them. what that is it's like you go in you get points or whatever so i'm like they're like james you're already at two thousand points I'm like really what did i buy i'm like oh i bought mulch and stuff okay got it Yes, mulch. exactly. Yeah. Whatever I bought. So <laughs> I love guys. So it's funny about that. You said gardening. That's one of my, my passions is gardening. Actually, <laughs> it's 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 actually a good point for you. What do you do to relax in between like working? What do you do? Uh, well, I uh, garden. Um, yeah. uh, I drink wine. Me too. Um, <laughs> yes, a lot. Yes. Um, I you know see friends. I yes, that's good. just you know I I cook for them. Okay. Um, I'm just like a, a homebody. I read. I read a ton. I like reading. Yeah. What is, what uh, what are you reading right now? I think you're reading right now. What am I reading right now? I'm reading um uh a uh, uh, a memoir called I think it calls it's called it gets worse or something. Oh, okay. Or I can't remember. I I don't I I I don't know. I, okay. I, I, I don't know the title of the thing that oh, I'm sorry. reading. You're reading it. I, it's engrossing. You're reading it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. I, my favorite authors are like Marianne Robinson. I really okay, love her. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. I'll tell you what I'm, I'll, I'll share yes, with you what I'm reading. It's gonna, it's, you're going you're gonna to laugh so hard. 
I'm reading Jerry Hollowell's uh, memoir. <gasps> oh, whoa. Spice called, Girl. What is, yeah. what is it called? If Only. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading a Spice Girl memoir. It's funny. It was, it was on sale for like $2. And actually, hardcover. Uh-huh. I mean, it's, it's really like like no one touched it. <laughs> um, but I'm really I'm broken. <laughs> See. I decided to break the spine and yeah. everything. No, it's completely was um, like you know I got it, and it talks about her rise. But I'm right. I'm right at the point where she left the Spice Girls secretly. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know about that drama. Oh my god, it's it's so far. I, mean, I just got into it, so I'm like, it's so far. I'm looking. She explained her decision making and uh-huh. leaving it at the top. Baby Spice, right? Was no, she, she baby was, Spice? No, she was Ginger Spice. Oh, Ginger, hello, course. Ginger Spice. Gosh, hello. Sorry. And how she became really big because she was the redhead and she wore the Union Jack dress, became very iconic, and she was kind of her and Mel B, Scary Spice, had some problems. Um, so, because they kind of end up becoming the merging the leaders. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, I'm a big Spice like Girl the, fan. Like the Beatles. Yeah. It really was. Like, well, the... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, but actually, the, no, but actually, it's a very interesting book. It talks about how she went to George Michael, who saved her. Oh, really? George Michael. George Michael. Oh, God. Was he the bomb? He was so good back in the did day. Did I have a crush on George Michael? Yes. Oh, I'm sure you do. Hello. Oh. Faith, all that whole thing. Yes. Oh, my gosh. The, George Michael was the first uh, tape that I ever got. It was on tape. And we, I I could not, you know, they had that song, I Want Your Sex. Yes. And I would listen to it, but as soon as I'd be like, I want her, and then I'd turn the knob down <laughs> so my mom wouldn't hear that oh, I, I it. that was the first uh, rock song, rock album I yeah. bought. And like in my family, rock music, there's not, nothing but uh, classical. Like yeah. rock music was just like, you were going downhill. And then yeah. I bought this this tape that was, um, wow. that had I Want Your Sex. Uh, which remember, that was controversial back then. I Want Your Sex was a whole, he, he was saying, he's talking about monogamy and, and sex. Oh, and he's sure. a pop star, it was a big thing. And then that kind of died down and then Faith came out and it became a huge. Also, fa- father figure. Father Wasn't that son. a, that's yes. a, like, that's yes. a. Those videos were all kind of, he was working it out back then. Sure. <laughs> sure he, he was. Because he was yeah. wham, before he was yeah, wham. Yeah, he was wham. He was like running go-go. around on stage with like a white jacket yeah, on exactly. or whatever. Yeah. I saw Wham America in 1985 and Shaka Khan opened for them. Oh my gosh. I saw I was a teenager, I saw that. And I was like, oh, I got it. It, it was kind of the gayest thing I ever saw, but it was a great, <laughs> great. But did you concert. know it at the time? No, he's yeah. British. He has two earrings. <laughs> he's running around like he's British, yeah. and, but, he had, but he had a beautiful voice. I mean, the thing about yes. George Michael is a beautiful voice. Yes, that's it so. Does. Wait, that what connection? That's so funny. He has to hang that up. Um, you also did Cougar Town. Yes, I did. And that was my favorite shows. I'm so glad I went to TBS and it continued. Me too. What was that experience like? Well, it was wonderful. I was. Um, um, I was very busy. Phillips, who's on that show, I love her. Love her. She's a wonderful person, and she okay. got me that job. Oh wow! Um, um, and uh, yeah, it was fun. Those 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 guys are wild. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's a wild cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, have, like they're all they know how to make fun. Like, oh, they make do? fun. They, they they have fun. Yeah, have fun. Right. Um. Uh. Yeah. They're. I had a great time on that show. Okay. So. You do a lot. Of, you come in and do a lot of these shows, and also you've been regular. You have worked on shows too. How? What is your mindset when you come onto a set of an already established cast? Like, what do you do? You're like, I'm here to do a job. Yeah. I'm just gonna smile. And do, do you have you encountered things? People like kind of like. Uh, sure. I'm sure. I mean, sure. I have encountered both bad and good. Yeah, but you, but you somehow you just stay grounded. You're an actress. So I'm here to do my job, right? Yeah. I mean, I've I know people in most yes. of the shows that I'm oh, doing, okay. Okay. so I, I feel like I usually have a friend that mm. I can. Uh, you know, be go like, to. what's going on? Yeah. But it's not that, you know, yeah. there people are nice and um, you just go in and, um, you know, do your job. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, and it's exciting to be in somebody else's set. Yeah. Yeah. And have you ever done Law and Order? Yes. I'm saying that that's like the trend. I mean, everybody, because you said New sure. York. So you were in New York. In New York. Like, everybody in New York does I Law did, and Order at some I did, point. I did a lot of, I did uh, uh, two Law and Orders, and I could have done three, but they wouldn't let me out of this play. I was going to shoot somebody in a courtroom, and I just, I, oh, ne- I never get to be the bad person. Dang it. And I could have been, I could have, like, but I didn't. They oh, could, so that it. was, so maybe someday I'll be, get to be. Um, <laughs> just shoot somebody just in a like, courtroom. Just like shoot someone, I'm not murderous. <laughs> On anything, screen or like, off, whatever. Yeah, sure. just, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Uh, I did SVU, and I did oh, wow. um, uh, criminal intent. Okay, so you, wow, you did so yeah. long. Um, how is being on stage when you do plays? How is it being on stage for you? Well, it's just really fun. Okay. Um, uh, I did a musical a couple of years ago oh. in Shakespeare in the Park at the Delacorte, mm-hmm. um, and I hadn't been on stage in. Uh, uh, like five years, and wow. so the first week of rehearsal. 
I was like, I did remember how to stand. <laughs> it's really a oh, bright day. I was wow. like, I can't do this. I guess I can't do this. But I learned how to yeah. do it. Yeah. It's, what... it's like riding a bike or whatever. So you're a songstress too? Yeah, that's what I thought I was. That was my big dream when I was growing up is I wanted to be, like I never wanted to be on television or movies or anything. I didn't care about that. I cared about musical theater very deeply and um, and uh, so my big dream was to be in the chorus of a Broadway musical. Yeah. Which I still haven't got. So you haven't done yet? Okay, so... (laughs) No, but I've been the thing is I've done like more I've, I've done something that I would never even have like this yeah. this Shakespeare in the Park I was a lead in it and uh, I would never ever have dreamed of that I, I okay, am I very that. small okay. I have very small yes I like that dreams coming yes. from boring Oregon hey from boring Oregon that's right so this is you know this yeah. is more yeah. than I yeah. talking to you is more Thank than you. yes I dreamed. Yes, I like that. Uh, is there a music? What What is a musical you would love to do? If you, I mean, I, I say say it out loud to the universe, and it may come to you. Is there Is there one or two that you would yes, love to do? There are so many. Okay, I would love to do. Um, I'd love to do cabaret. Ooh, wow. but I can't dance, so that's a problem. I have to sit sick with Sondheim because I can't dance oh, we so well. We love Sondheim. We love Sondheim. Um, I'm in the musical that I did in the park, the. Um, this costume designer was very sweet and talented. She she told me that I was the worst dancer in the show. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> and she's right. And you're I like, was. yeah, girl, you're right, sure. Um, um, I'd like to do Sunday in the Park with George. Ooh, that's that a good one. That's my, a good that one. That would be my number one. Wow, that's a good one. I know that one. That's yeah. a good one. I like that. You one. went early. You went early. He's like, I want to pick some of his early work. Oh, that's a good one. I lo- I love musicals, so I mean, I'm just like, one day if I ever could do musical theater, just like a little tiny part, I would do one. I want to do chorus line or something. I want to do. Can you dance? Actually, I'm a good dancer. Oh, well, see, there there you are. My singing, yeah, it's okay. Mm-hmm. I got deep voice. I can kind of work it out. That'd be in my key. Uh-huh. My key, working out. Well, I'd like to do that one day, but that's cool. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. It's my pleasure. Why so fast? We're done. <laughs> yes, we is done, yes. <laughs> Tell the fine folks in that camera where they can actually find you on social media. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, Maria Thayer uh, at Twitter and Maria Thayer at Instagram. No, at Maria Thayer at Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the at's implied. You're, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I, I feel like they're going to figure it out. They'll figure it out. Maria Thayer. They'll figure it out. I'll tweet it out. They'll I trust it out. you guys. Yes, you guys are smart. We'll figure it out. And you can find me on Twitter at Black Hope LA. It's B L A K Hope L A. And James Law Jr. everywhere else. Thanks for joining us for the Spotlight on with Maria Thayer. We'll see you next time. Bye. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.